So, I'm working on the uh, disc spinning mechanism for the control panel, and uh, this was started by basically picking the right compliant wheel that we're going to use to contact the wheel and then spin in order to rotate the control panel. Um, we had pretty quickly decided that having a simple wheel contact it was going to be the most efficient way of doing this. Um, unsurprisingly, the green compliant wheel ended up being the best. Um, we originally tested it along the surface, so if you imagine this is the wheel that we're trying to rotate. Um, we get very good grip on the surface. Um, we also get pretty good grip if we're straight on the edge. However, if we're going in at an angle, it slides quite a bit as we're barely making contact with the corner, uh, which did end up crossing out some of our original ideas. Um, for the motor, we're just going to use a bag motor. Uh, we're going to have a single stage versus planetary on it, and uh, maybe a encoder stage built into the uh, versus planetary as well. Um, so that's pretty much our whole mechanism right there. Uh, the more challenging part of this that I'm currently working on in CAD is figuring out how we're going to actuate this up and down because we also want to be able to go under the trench run, which requires us to be shorter uh, than we need to be in order to make contact with the wheel. So a few ideas that we went through here is uh, we started by imagining making contact, like I said, uh, with the bottom of the wheel actually. And so we started looking at making this actuate up and down in this orientation uh, on some sort of arc. And you can see just sort of we laid this out here in the down and up position to make sure that we can get under the trench run and then still make contact. Um, we went through a few other design uh, concepts, uh, one of which was just using a simple linear slide. So we looked at cylinder lengths and drawer slides for that. Um, fortunately, the drawer slides that we ended up getting to try to do this are very, very flimsy, and we thought that might cause a problem using the cylinder. Uh, so we ended up going through another round of design, uh, where we decided that we were actually going to have it start horizontal and simply flip up uh, this way a total 90 degrees and make contact with the edge. Uh, this is the one that we've moved forward with, and the cab for at least this subsystem is completely as far as it is so far. Obviously changes will be made so that it can mount to the rest of the robot and uh, interact and fit with the rest of the robot. Um, however, this is essentially what it's going to look like. And uh, if I suppress this part right here, you can see how as that cylinder would retract, it will come down inside of the robot. And then as that cylinder extends, it will stick up a perfect 90 degrees so that we can simply drive into the control panel and spin it.